Today, we're delving into the journeys of seven actors who have navigated life beyond Hollywood spotlight. Our exploration begins with Sean William Scott, renowned for his iconic portrayal as Stifler in American Pie. Ironically, this very role that catapulted him to fame also became somewhat of a double-edged sword, limiting his opportunities to break away from the frat boy archetype. Despite Sean's versatility as an actor, casting directors often struggle to see him beyond the persona of Stifler, hindering his ability to explore diverse roles. Similarly, Christopher Mintz Plass, forever etched in our memories as McLovin from Superbad, faced a similar challenge. His breakout role as McLovin, while memorable, also became somewhat of a burden, overshadowing his versatility as an actor. Despite his efforts to branch out, Christopher found himself tethered to the iconic character, which posed challenges in carving out a new identity in the industry. Despite these challenges, both John William Scott and Christopher Mintz Plass have found solace in alternative creative outlets. While Sean briefly stepped away from the limelight, he returned to television in Welcome to Fletch, showcasing his enduring talent. Meanwhile, Christopher explored his passion for music, finding success with his band Main Man alongside his acting endeavors. Balancing between acting and music, Christopher expresses gratitude for the opportunities each avenue affords him, embracing the fluidity of creative expression. Their stories serve as a testament to the complexities of navigating fame and carving out one's path in an industry defined by labels and expectations. Despite the challenges they faced, both Sean William Scott and Christopher Mintz Plass continue to redefine their narratives, proving that true resilience lies in the ability to adapt and evolve beyond the confines of a single role. Jim Carrey, once a stalwart of cult classic films like The Grinch and Ace Ventura, experienced a marked decline in recent years. Following personal tragedies and legal disputes, including the passing of his ex-girlfriend and subsequent lawsuits, Jim took a four-year hiatus from acting. He eventually announced his retirement in April 2022, citing disillusionment with the industry's direction and a desire to focus on painting, a passion he had nurtured alongside his acting career. As for Tobey Maguire, forever synonymous with Spider-Man, his career trajectory has been distinct. While he found success in roles like The Great Gatsby, his career has plateaued in recent years. Limited by his range and embroiled in media scandals, including reports of high-stakes poker games, Toby has faced challenges in maintaining his status in Hollywood. These actors' journeys reflect the complexities and challenges of life beyond the spotlight, highlighting the ever-shifting landscape of fame and the diverse paths taken by those who navigate it. Taylor Lautner, once hailed as the heartthrob of Twilight, has seemingly vanished from Hollywood's radar, but not for the reasons you might expect. While some actors fade from the limelight due to lack of opportunity, Taylor's disappearance stems from a different narrative. Since 2014, he has only appeared in four productions as an actor. However, his presence has remained active behind the scenes as a producer, with eight movie credits to his name during the same period. Taylor's meteoric rise to fame came at the tender age of 16, propelled by his role in the widely popular Twilight series. Blessed with a striking physique, he became a symbol of teenage idolatry, with fangirls swooning over his every move. Yet beneath the glamour, Taylor found himself typecast and objectified, with interviews often fixated on his physical attributes rather than his talents. Despite amassing an estimated fortune of $40 million from the franchise, Taylor's fame came at a cost. For a decade, he lived under the constant scrutiny of fame, unable to experience the simple pleasures of everyday life. However, as the fervor surrounding Twilight began to wane, Taylor's career trajectory took a downward turn. His post-Twilight endeavors failed to capture the same magic, with critics panning his performances and films alike. In 2016, he abandoned his rigorous fitness regimen, leading to a physical transformation that drew attention for all the wrong reasons. The online scrutiny was relentless as fans lamented the loss of the once-chiseled physique that had catapulted him to stardom. While Taylor's success in Twilight was undoubtedly earned through hard work and dedication, it also underscored the fickleness of fame. He rode the wave of a cultural phenomenon, perfectly embodying the role demanded by the movie. However, without the right opportunities and roles to sustain his career, Taylor found himself adrift in an industry that often values youth and beauty above all else. 
While some actors continue to secure occasional roles, Cameron Diaz stands out for her notable absence from the silver screen since 2014. Renowned for her performances in iconic films like Shrek, Charlie's Angels, and There's Something About Mary, Cameron held the esteemed title of the highest paid actress over 40 years. However, her sudden departure from Hollywood wasn't a result of dwindling opportunities. Rather, it was a deliberate choice on her part. In a revealing interview with Kevin Hart, Cameron disclosed that her decision stemmed from a desire to break free from the relentless demands of her career. As someone who had dedicated every waking moment to honing her craft, she yearned for a more balanced and multifaceted life. Consequently, Cameron shifted her focus to motherhood, authored two self-help books, and ventured into entrepreneurship with her wine brand Aveline, a departure from the glint and glamour of Hollywood. Similarly, Sasha Baron Cohen, renowned for his boundary-pushing comedy, experienced a fluctuating trajectory in the film industry. Following the monumental success of Borat, which grossed over $250 million in 2006, Sasha faced diminishing returns with subsequent projects. Films like The Dictator and Grimsby failed to replicate the same box office triumph, prompting critics to question his comedic range. In a candid assessment, Sasha acknowledged the changing landscape of comedy, attributing the decline in popularity of his crude humor to shifting societal norms and technological advancements. The rise of social media and widespread access to content posed challenges for Sasha's brand of satire, limiting his creative freedom and exposing him to legal threats. Despite these hurdles, Sasha persevered, releasing Borat in 2020, which garnered significant attention and was acquired by Amazon for $80 million. While his future endeavors remain shrouded in anticipation, Sasha's ability to navigate the evolving comedic landscape underscores his resilience and adaptability in an ever-changing industry. As we wrap up our discussion on the intriguing journeys of these Hollywood actors, we invite you to engage further with our content. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Your support helps us reach more viewers like you. For those who haven't already, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future uploads. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our latest content from captivating discussions to insightful analyses. And don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you're always alerted whenever we post new videos. This ensures you stay connected with our channel and never miss a beat. Lastly, if you'd like to show some extra love and support, consider sending us a super thanks. Your generous contributions allows us to continue creating high quality content for you to enjoy. Thanks a lot for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video.